This video explains how you can work with SNMP credentials in What's Up Gold to better manage your environment. We'll learn why these credentials are so important and how you can recognize problems and fix them. Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP, is a standardized communication method for network devices. What's Up Gold uses SNMP to gather data for the basic monitoring and management of the devices in your environment. Three versions of SNMP have been developed since the 1980s. What's Up Gold supports all three SNMP versions, however, not all devices can use the newer SNMP versions. You should only use version 1 if the device does not support version 2 or 3. In What's Up Gold, you'll enter your SNMP credentials in the Credentials Library. It's best to do this before you discover the devices. To create a new credential, click the plus sign and select SNMP version 1, 2, or 3. For SNMP version 1 and 2, you enter the read community string and optionally a write community string. These values are case sensitive. The community string configured on a device must match this value in order for it to respond to a query from What's Up Gold. SNMP version 3 uses stronger security standards and requires several more fields. Instead of a community string, it requires a username and password. Again, the values configured on a device must exactly match the values in the credential in order for the device to be successfully queried. As a tip, consider including the version number in your credential names to help avoid confusion. During a discovery scan, What's Up Gold attempts to communicate with devices using the values from the credentials library. If the SNMP credentials from the library match the device credentials, then What's Up Gold can communicate with the device and gather information like its hostname, address, type, and model. After discovering a device using valid SNMP credentials, What's Up Gold will also determine the best fitting role and sub-roles for the device, such as router, switch, or Windows Server. In the Discovered Network view, you can see the role assigned to a device, and when you select a device, you see the successful and failed credentials on the device card. If a matching credential could not be identified for a device, then its role will simply be device, and What's Up Gold will not be able to gather any data from the device. In this case, you should make sure the credentials are set up properly in the credentials library, then delete the discovered device and rediscover it. After you discover a device, you can start monitoring it. At this time, What's Up Gold leverages the role and sub-roles assigned to the device to add active and performance monitors to the device for items like CPU, disk, and memory. This automatic monitoring is a convenient feature of What's Up Gold, but it can only happen when a valid credential exists for the device. You can manually add a credential to a single device on the Device Properties page. Or, from the My Network view, select multiple devices or a device group and use the Edit Devices menu option to add a credential to all the devices at once. Be sure to rescan the devices afterwards to update their network connectivity information and add any applicable monitors based on the new credential. To test a credential against a device, use the SNMP MIB Walker. Use a simple OID such as 1.3.6 as a start. A response showing timeout or connection reset by peer usually means the credential is not valid. This can also indicate that the device is not set up correctly to allow What's Up Gold to make requests, the credential is not a match for the device, or port 161 is not open bidirectionally to the device. Work with your device and network administrators to resolve any issues. Unless you can use the SNMP MIB Walker successfully, you will not be able to add the SNMP credential to the device in What's Up Gold and effectively monitor it. After a valid SNMP credential is assigned to a device, you have the ability to monitor the device for SNMP traps. These are informational packets sent by the device to the What's Up Gold server. They are used by What's Up Gold's passive monitoring over port 162. To receive SNMP traps on the What's Up Gold server, you need to edit your system settings to enable the passive monitor listener for SNMP traps. Then, Use the Monitors Library to configure the SNMP trap passive monitors that you want to utilize. Finally, 
assign the SNMP trap passive monitors to the appropriate devices. Thank you for watching this video about SNMP credentials and how they are used in WhatsApp Gold.